Good morning, folks. Could you imagine going back 20 years and trying to have a serious conversation with the scientists about the brightness of what they were describing as black holes? <laughs> They'd laugh at you. But as you watch a simulation of the G2 cloud encountering our galactic center as part of a terrific article on X-ray detections from the Milky Way, it's exactly what we're talking about. A number of great visualizations to accompany that article, including the signature changes over the years. We'll come back to space weather at the end, but... While we're in the news, the Antares rocket was rescheduled for launch today after it was canceled yesterday due to space radiation. Little did I know that they were scrambling to scrap that mission while I was describing that the astronauts needed to be in their safe areas. I'm not sure they've waited long enough today. Some quick words on the polar vortex making the news. Folks, if you remember that article from the Irish Times about how lack of solar activity can weaken the streams that keep the northern hemisphere from having terrible winters, well... That's the same atmospheric flow here. And while the polar vortex normally looks like this with one eddy-like spin-off, the weakening to match the solar weakening removed the tight curl and it broke south into the United States. But now, with multiple M-class and an X-flare accompanying polar radiation we mentioned earlier, the strength is coming back very quickly. Although not quite back to the nice circle, it's still elongated, but at least we're back to continuity with the upper stratospheric flow. Anyway, let's go to Fiji at the southwest Pacific Bend to eye the tropical power cell Ian. Not expected to be a worry for New Zealand unless it goes further south than predicted. Northern Australia will see some significant rain today. No other watches for this area other than the biological alert to the east. They're blaming the heat wave they just saw and the death of nearly 100,000 bats. Shifting up over to Europe where you can see that the major lows that were on their way are now not. They were products of a lack of flaring allowing those polar lows to shift south and now that the relevant low is sucked well north leaves heat to shift up onto the continent with the convergence line well off the center cell approaching from the Atlantic. The super cold should be about over for everyone. I hope there were no tragedies for anyone watching. Most of the eastern states and west coast will see sporadically significant precipitation. Check your local forecasts. Had a new gamma ray burst yesterday come out of Cepheus in the northern skies. Looking at the solar flaring shows nada. The calm anticipated last night is enduring a bit longer than even I would have thought, but that's not really a bad thing considering that our magnetic connection to the sun is way too close to that active region and there are already radiation storms here. The sunspots most relevant for our watching are now on the right half of the visible disk and exiting towards the limb. I recommend NOAA consider removing the gamma class as the magnetics bolster their separation here. It's on its way to Beta Delta. The proton storm did hit level 3 about an hour after last night's radiation warning video. We've come back down a bit, but it'll take a while for full subsiding and chances for more surges are high, both with limb activity and that big sunspot group. The beating taken by electrons during the proton event is ending now, but the jagged lines still show anything but calm conditions. Solar wind is calm now, but any second the CME impact from the X-flare will get to our magnetosphere and envelop the planet. Magnetic storms are likely. Also have the major coronal holes facing Earth today, creating the peak of the current watch, which should be revised half a grade lower than before due to lower solar polar significance. That was from Stanford's updates yesterday, and before those, we just had to assume the polarity factor was as high as can be. The earthquake condition index was high to match. We are still in a watch near B+. However, right now the protons and other space weather have my full attention. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone. Thank you.